With high temperatures in the 90s, like we will see this weekend, it can take just minutes for a car to become dangerously hot. Each year, an average of 38 children die trapped in these hot cars when they're left behind. So last week, members of Congress proposed a bill to require alert systems in every car to prevent these tragedies. But in the meantime, there are devices that can help save a child. Channel 2 health reporter Haley Hernandez puts two of them to the test tonight, showing us how they work. It's a tragedy we hear every year. The windows were up and the doors were locked. Already this summer, two Texas toddlers died when authorities say their mother intentionally left them in a car for 15 hours. Somebody in the house that could even hear the kids crying and told her to bring them in the house and she didn't. But sometimes hot car deaths are a tragic accident. On this day last year, a child died after getting trapped inside a hot car while playing. When an adult might have jumped out of the car, a, ch a child might not, not know to do that or might not be able to. The law in Texas says intentionally leaving a child under seven unattended in a vehicle longer than five minutes is a misdemeanor. If the child is injured, then it's child endangerment, a felony. But if you see a child in distress, what do you do? I went to Houston Junk Car Buyers to find out. We're at 101 so far. She if says if you like see this, a child in distress, break in through the window corners, corners here, not the middle. Here. If you break it right here, your hand could go through the glass, which is going to hurt you really badly. First, we try the most available tool. This Ecom Crest Hammer is sold at many hardware stores, marketed as a way to save kids and pets in hot cars. Three years ago, Ecom Crest posted this to YouTube. Now we hope you will never need to use one. And I'm glad I didn't have to either. With as much force as I could give in the spot I was instructed, nothing happened. And the company is nowhere to be found for an explanation. We tried this hammer-like device. All it does is blunt the tip. Now we're gonna try the window punch. That worked. The window punch successfully broke multiple windows with a catch. You had to be right at the very tip, any closer to the middle and it just wasn't breaking. With the most car deaths typically happening in July and August, first responders hope knowing how to use this device can empower you to prevent more tragedies. We just want everybody to understand it can happen to you. And we don't want to see it happen to anyone ever again. The tool I used is called Rescue Me. Thanks to the Jacinto Fire Department for this one. It can also be used if you're stuck in floodwaters and windows do not roll down. Details on where you can buy ones like this on our website, click to Houston.com. You'll find it under the health section. Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.